The Flat Earth Society is the side of Flat Earth that says the Earth is rising through space, and uh, that's their explanation for gravity. Now, there's a Zetetic side of Flat Earth, and that's the side that Robotham came from. That's the side that Amon, that's the side that Eric Dubay has taken over. Um, it was called the International uh, Flat Earth Research Society, I believe. And then the Flat Earth Society then came along to discredit that uh, teaching. So the natural physics of water proved flat Earth. The natural physics of buoyancy and density. The sponge is not pulled down when it's sitting on water uh, by gravity. It just will, water will overtake its mass and pull it in. That's proof that there's no gravity. There's no uh, particles in the air flowing around sticking things to a side of a spinning ball it's very observationally objectively uh truth centered that uh the synthetic side is uh arguing with and believing i mean i 100 percent believe the earth is flat and these uh flatter society people i don't like to pick on them and i don't even really research too much what they say but um, I just think they're wrong. I don't think they're doing it for the wrong reasons. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I recently had a debate and I got kicked off the show and they said he's a fake flat earther. Now they use this word called a po. And they're saying poser, like faking flat earth, like just trying to do it for um, attention or like a troll. What's funny is I can't even define that word po. If you ask them what a po is, they won't go, it's just a poser, it's just a troll. They'll go, well, and they'll give you this long explanation. And they'll use the words fake and they'll use the words um, just, you know, disinformation or, you know, uh, not even believing what he's uh, doing. A faker, which I'm obviously not. I don't know why anybody would join Flat Earth if they didn't believe it. I just wouldn't understand that. Um, there's a lot of ridicule that comes from it. The guy that I debated had compared uh, flat earthers to pedophiles. He said flat earthers are bad people. He found a couple people that were somehow associated with flat earth and then showed how they were sex offenders. I don't see why you would fake being uh, a flat earther. I don't see why you would fake the fact that we don't live on a ball. If you look at the pictures from NASA, it's just silly. It's just silly. If you go on the comment section from moon landings uh, videos from the government, you'll see a lot of people that might not even uh, looked into moon hoax. They'll just say, wow, that looks fake. Wow, that looks fake. 90% of the comments on these uh, moon videos are people going, that's fake. They fake that. Now that doesn't mean those people believe we didn't go to the moon, but it means those pictures look really fake. Elon Musk said when he shot a car in outer space, we know it's real because it looks so fake. He couldn't believe that people were going to believe that. So he said the obvious. It, we know it's real because it looks so fake. So I don't know why anybody would fake uh, being a uh, flat earther. Now, as far as the flat earth society people go, I think they're just misinformed. So what a lot of these uh, kids on the internet are doing is they're making fun of flat earthers and then they're using flat earth society people to debate with and argue with and using their talking points and then just ignoring this aesthetic side. So they won't have me on their show. So they had me on the show, he kicked me off. Um, there's another guy that offered me, he says, Fight the Flat Earth. That's the name of his channel, FTFE. He challenged me to a debate and then he said, oh, I'll only let you on if uh, you can prove you're not a po." You can prove that you're not a poser. Prove to me that you actually believe flat earth. Well, why don't you have me on your show and let me talk for five minutes straight without interrupting me? Let me say that the Cavendish experiments did not prove gravity. He took two balls home from a barn, looked at them to see if they moved. That's your, that's your proof that there was gravity. That's your proof? You'll never find a sniper that uses the Coriolis effect. They don't calculate the spin of the earth. Let me tell you that Planes don't um, calculate for the spin of the earth. Let me tell you that water always finds its level and you can't measure it. You're saying you're measuring the horizon line and then you're calling that measuring water and you're just misconstruing words. Just like you can't even define a Poe as a poser. I'm not a poser, man. I'm the real deal. I've been a flat earther since 2014 before I even knew it was called flat earth. When they started calling it flat earth, I was like, yeah, I mean, of course it's flat. It's flat where it's flat. And uh, there's hills, mountains, and valleys. It's not a spinning ball, though. It's a, 
it's not a dream in a government's mind. It's a dream in a God's mind. And they want to live in a dream in a government's mind because the government told them they could become a God if they joined their system. And that's what this is. It's pantheism. All God with the one God system and the one God is from the many one, the money system, the debt system. And if you join it, you become a God. Now, I don't have a problem having an open dialogue with the flatter society people. I want to go to the ice wall. I want to go to where there's more land. South Victoria land is where I want to go. It's the closest one. It's right off the coast of New Zealand. Go from Christchurch. It's right there. You can go from Australia as well. There's a whole bunch of land there. And I want to show them that we're not in there. Antarctica. There's the peninsula they go to um, down off of the coast of Argentina. That's the only one you're allowed to go to. Now, I want to make a bunch of noise with all the flat earthers, and I want the flat earth society people there. And that's kind of what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to um, bring the flat earth society into uh, the Zetetic flat earth with being able to say we disagree on some things and we can have an open dialogue about those disagreements. I just gravity there's just no need for it on a flat on a flat plane there's just no need for gravity um i think you're having a hard time understand where the earth sits in the cosmos is the central uh argument of this discussion we don't need outer space i know it's completely different than what they're teaching but what they're teaching is a new creation is a new kind of creation it doesn't relate to that one so it's a little hard to understand because we've been given pictures our whole life, so we think we need a home for our existence. We think we need an outer space. And we don't. The earth is just at rest with the heavens. It comes out of the water. We've only dug eight miles deep. There's some things we just don't know. And the synthetic side's fine with saying that. We would love to find out. We could find out more if we were allowed to go down in the caves. There's caves at NORAD uh, in Colorado Springs, Colorado. At least those are the rumors. Um, and if that's not true, then... We were missing, We, uh, you know, I'm, I'm obviously speculating and it was uh, wrong of me to take that speculation, but I'm willing to like bet that there is because there's a lot, there's a lot of smoke there and where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Um, but that fire doesn't go against the natural physics of uh, reality. And the natural physics of reality is that water doesn't shape to a ball. It doesn't, you can't stick water to an outside of a ball. You can't stake it to the inside of a ball. You can't have water higher over here and lower over here. It will what we call level and uh the dorks on the internet can't handle this atetic realm of uh flat earth they just can't handle it so they just run away from you and act like uh they just try to ignore you and uh shut you out and shun you and then the other side of this is the zetetic realm um besides eric dupe and uh dave murphy the flat earthers have ignored me so i've been a flat earther since 2014 and i'm the one that first said the words flat earth to dave weiss i've told a lot of other people about flat earth uh marty Leeds and odd and uh guys i like and guys i respect now they don't want to go to the ice wall and they don't want to prove once and for all that the earth is flat they're afraid a lot of them are just afraid to die they've messaged me and be like dude you're gonna get us all killed stay away from me they are terrified of me because they think i'm gonna get everybody killed because i want to take everybody to new zealand i want a big party and show everybody the earth is flat and they're like dude there's evil people that run the world uh, and uh, they're going to kill us. And they're probably right. But uh, why not? What else we got to look for? They won't let us freely live on the flat earth. Let's show it to them once and for all. Let's go to the ice wall. So that's why you won't see a lot of these people say my name. That's why you won't see uh, Dave Weiss talk about me. He says, we're going south. We're, we're not going to their Antarctica, David. We're going to the Richard E. Bird ice wall. So come on, stand up. Let's get murdered.